Um, we're going to begin in child's pose this morning. So when you ladies are ready, come hands and knees, send the hips back. If your knees are tight or tender today for any reason, take the blanket or take something and place it underneath so that your knees can rest on that. If you feel like you want to stretch your shoulders, you can always bend those elbows and place them on top of blocks if you have blocks or books that are the same height. And I'm just going to demo that. You'll place the blocks, extend those arms. Once you're ready, you can place the elbows on the blocks. Take the thumbs and let them rest on your back. Your forehead should somewhat be able to rest on the mat. If it's a little hovered, it's no big deal. If this is too intense to begin with, then go ahead and remove those blocks and find where it feels comfortable. But we'll begin by drawing a full belly breath in through our nose. And that big release out. Two more big inhale through your nose, letting your abdomen expand like a balloon. The opposite effect of what we normally do on a daily basis. And then we'll exhale, sigh that breath out, release the chest down, sink the hips back. And last big cleansing breath in through the nose. And then that open mouth sigh, letting it go. Try to relax the shoulders, extend through the crown of the head. And on your time, take your tongue, lick your lips, seal them to one another, and then begin breathing in and out of your nose. As you start that breath work, breathing in and out of the nostrils, you'll constrict the back of the throat. And through that constriction, you'll drag your breath back and forth, creating that oceanic sound. This breath, as you ladies and gentlemen may know, is called our Ujjayi Pranayama, or oceanic breath. Some also know it as our victorious breath because it's very powerful. It allows for the mind to relax and allows the body to prep for what's to come, whether that's asana, meditation, whatever it may be. As you fill the body up with this oxygen, our life force, you release it. Begin scanning from the crown of the head or from the tips of the fingers down through the body until you reach your toes. You're observing and scanning with love, no judgment, whether something feels amazing or something doesn't feel quite right this morning, you're not gloating and you're not pouting. So you're just content with where you are. You have gratitude for the ability to be here, gratitude that you were able to make this time for yourself. Scan in the opposite direction, maybe allowing all those muscles, the tendons, the tissue to get softer and softer. Perhaps even the breath is longer or deeper. And after scanning, begin to ask yourself or fill in the blank after I am. I am worthy. I am grateful. I am at peace. I am courageous. So many different things that you are throughout our life, throughout the day, but decide what feels appropriate this morning. If you decided to go with one of the words that I gave to you, roll with that, own it, let it be you. If you decided to go a different route and choose what was meant for you, what your heart was desiring, what your mind, your body needs, then go that route. But when you're ready, draw that breath in, owning what you have filled the blank with. And as you exhale, letting it all go. If your arms are still at prayer and thumbs at your back, slowly begin to inhale and extend those arms towards the front. If you'd like to remove your blocks to the side, just push, push those blocks over to one side. Massage the space between your eyebrows as you rock your head from right side to left side. Taking deep inhales, letting those exhales be nice and long. 
finding stillness as you exhale in this child's pose. As you draw your next breath in, press the palms into the mat, begin to lift the head up as you lift the head up, slide those palms towards your body, bring those knees together and then stack on all fours. If you stack on all fours, wiggle those hips from right side to left side, letting your head sway from one end to the other, observing and noticing how the lower portion of the body feels. And if you had your arms where you were stretching those triceps, maybe you wanna decompress the chest, or press the earth away. So any movement that you need in this moment, go ahead and take it. Allow yourself to guide the body into what feels wonderful for you. And then pause when you're ready, curl in your toes under. We'll stretch the bottom of our feet as we send our hips back. As we send the hips back, we can roll our little toes out, letting that breath go, smiling, finding that Beautiful smile on your face, comforting. Roll the toes back in if you'd like. Feel the big toes anchoring down, maybe stretching them a little bit more. If you want to roll the little pinky toes back out, you can. This can be back and forth. You can sink there for a moment. But you can inhale, roll the toes back in, and then sit the hips back as you exhale that breath. If you need one more round, take that one last round. And then all on your time, Send the weight of the body forward, draw the navel up and in, lift your feet off the mat, a couple of circles to bring that blood flow into those ankles, and then take the tops of the feet and pitter pat them on the mat, just to bring back sensation. And then go ahead and release the feet down back onto the mat. On an inhale, curl those toes under, retract the shoulders as you drop the belly down and inhale, lift the chest and chin up for that cow pose. On your exhale, press the tops of the feet onto the mat, dome your spine, catting it up. Grip your fingers into the earth, take the chin close to the chest. Inhale for that cow pose. Exhale as you cat it back up. And one more inhale, cow pose. And exhale as you cat it back up, knitting those ribs. On our next inhale, we'll neutralize the spine. And as we neutralize the spine, bring those knees close to one another. Walk that right hand closer to center and then lift that left hand off the mat and trace a few circles to bring blood flow into the wrist. As you take your next breath in, inhale, extend that left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, thread that left hand in between the arm and that right leg, dropping that left temple down on the mat. Keep extending and reaching your thumbs, your fingers towards this right edge. As you draw the next breath in, start to crawl or walk your right fingertips towards that top left corner of your mat. Extend and grow through the crown of the head. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Relax the temple down on the earth. Keep the hips elevated and make sure that you're breathing. We're trying to release the shoulder and find length for our lats as well. The gaze is through this right side. So you can start to turn that gaze up towards the ceiling. You're going to find that your lats release a little bit more. So that's that side portion on the ribs. Sometimes they're tight and tender. Another breath in and that breath out. Now go ahead and slide the right hand back down by your gaze. Press that right palm into the mat. Lift the head up off the earth and then take this left arm back up towards the ceiling. A few circles with this left shoulder in each direction, maybe one or two circles or however many you desire. And then return that palm back down. As we replace that palm back down, wiggle the hips side to side, thighs come back towards one another. Slide that left hand to the middle of the mat. And as you bring that left hand to the middle of the mat, you'll inhale, lift that right wrist off the ground and just those few circles once more. As you take your next breath in, take that right arm up towards the sky or directly towards that right side, either or and you'll exhale, thread the needle. Drop that right temple, right ear down on the ground. Keep the hips elevated. And as you keep those hips elevated, extend the fingertips as far towards this left edge as you can. Walk or crawl your left hand towards the top of the mat. Begin to press through this right shoulder, looking up towards the ceiling to find that length through your lats. You'll also feel it through the small of the back. So if you tight back, this might, feel really nice, but if you feel any discomfort, definitely scale back. Take a full belly breath in here. Let that breath go. Press the fingernails into the ground. 
Last one, breath in and that breath out. When you're ready, begin to slide that left palm back down to your gaze. Press that palm into the earth, lift the ear off the mat, extend and reach that right arm up. A few giant circles or one giant circle with this right arm in each direction. And then place that right hand back down to the ground. As that right hand comes down to the ground, we'll take three rounds of cat cows. Decide if you prefer the traditional kind where you're right here in this tabletop position or if you enjoy the roller coaster kind. So if it's roller coaster, hits towards the heels, elbows bend slightly. Inhale, we bow our chest down, retracting the shoulders, scooping the heart up. On our exhale, we dome our spine, sliding the hips towards the back of the room. Two more, inhale. And then exhale. Let your breath be long. Inhale, guide yourself forward. Feel that sternum lengthen. And then exhale, guide yourself back. Feel the hips release. And then finally, inhale, come into that tabletop position. As you return into tabletop position, curl all 10 toes under. As you draw your next breath in, extend and straighten that left leg behind you. As your left leg comes behind you, adjust your hand stance so that there's balance. Bring that right hand to your navel, draw that navel up and in, squeeze this glute, and then inhale, extend and straighten your right arm forward. We're taking three cat, excuse me, three bird dogs, breath in. And then exhale, curl the elbow and the knee in towards your heart space. Inhale, take it nice and long. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, take it nice and long. Last one, bring it in. And then inhale, we'll take it nice and long. On our exhale, we'll release the hand down, drop the toes to the back end of the mat. Side plank as we hook our right toes to the right edge and extend that left arm up towards the sky. With that left arm up towards the sky, we'll bring the left fingertips towards the top of the mat, pulling our shoulders away from our ears. Find that length for your neck, pressing through the blade of your left foot. On the next inhale, extend the arm up, lift and float that left leg off the ground. Feel your foot flex, almost like you're kicking the wall. Then point those toes, curling the heel either in towards the body or knee in towards your chest. Reaching back, grabbing the ankle or the top of the foot. Feel your scapulas behind you come together. Spread that collarbone nice and wide. Feel the kneecap reaching away from the body so that that hip flexor has leap. One more full breath here. Letting that breath go. Inhale, releasing. Arm and leg go up. Blade of the foot returns to the earth. Circle sweep that left hand down. Return the hips to neutral position. Lift that left leg off the ground. Just a few circles to bring back mobility, into this left hip and then return the left knee down, wiggling your hips right side to left side. As you draw your next breath in, curling the right toes under, excuse me, left toes under, extending that right leg behind you. Drop that right hip down. So if it opened up, drop it back down, just the hands, bring that left hand to your abdomen, find that strength, pull the shoulders away from the ears and then take that left arm forward. Point your toes down so the foot is flexed. On an exhale, Pull the elbow and the knee in towards your heart space. Inhale, extend the arm and the leg. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, take it long. Last one, bring it in. And then inhale, extending nice and long. On that exhale, release your hand down to the mat. Drop the toes to the back end. Hook the left foot over for that side plank as you inhale, sack, and extend that right arm up towards the ceiling. Wrap those ribs and then take your right hand towards the top of the mat, looking anywhere it feels right for you. On one side, I enjoy looking down and then on the opposite side, for whatever reason, I prefer to look up. As you draw the next breath in, extend the arm up, lift and float your leg off the mat. Imagine you're once more kicking that wall behind you so you're activating the glute. Breath in and then curl the heel in towards the body or the knee into the chest, reach back, bind. As you bind, send the kneecap away, bow the chest out, bring the scapulas together. Ribs are intact. One last inhale here. Let that breath go completely. And then inhale, releasing arm and leg, drop back down. Circle sweeping, returning those hips to center, lifting that right knee off the ground, gently making those circles with the hip in each direction and then returning your frame back into tabletop position. Wiggle if you need to side to side and only when you're ready, curl your toes under, send the hips back, lift the knees off the earth, tilting the hips up towards the ceiling for that inverted B or downward facing dog. As you come into downward facing dog, it's your first one perhaps of the day. Begin to march or paddle your feet out. 
as you march and paddle the feet out. Notice what's going on with the hamstrings. Notice what's going on with the bottom of your feet. And also take notice what's going on with those shoulders. As you march back and forth, breathe in through the nose and breathe out of the nose. Then go ahead and find stillness in this downward facing dog. And as you find that stillness in your downward facing dog, hollow out your armpits. Imagine that you've spun those biceps inward so that you're putting on deodorant or you're scooping out a little ice cream ball. You're drawing that breath in, letting your head get heavy as the shoulders pull back. One more inhale here. Pressing the chest towards the thighs, lifting the hips up towards the sky. We'll inhale, lift the heels up nice and high. Bend the knees generously. Keep the tailbone elevated up towards the sky, but try to connect your abdomen to the thighs. Looking at your toes, lift the heels up. Inhale, looking towards the front of the room, and then exhale, walking your feet towards the top of the mat so that you can allow the feet to come in between those thumbs. As you draw a breath in, lift up halfway. Draw the navel up and in, wrap your ribs together. Exhale, release and lower down. Separating your feet wider than hip width distance. Grab those elbows for rag dog. Keep a bend in the knees, especially if you're low back and your hamstrings and maybe even the glutes are still really cranky or they're a little achy. Wiggle the frame if it feels appropriate for you from right side to left side. And if it feels better to go back and forth, Allow it to be more like of a pendulum so you can go back and forth. Pause wherever you're at. Let your head droop. Let that breath go and then release your hands back down towards the ground. Walk the feet back towards one another. Soft bend of the knees and we'll inhale, reverse and rise. Dragging those arms to the sides until you're ready to rise nice and tall. Smile, sweeping those arms up towards the sky, shoulders away from our ears. Exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Maybe a soft heart opener if it feels good. Inhale, those arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, lowering your palms back down towards the ground. Step back with that right foot. Drop the right knee down to the ground. Inhale, extend and lift that left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, pull that left elbow towards the back of the room. Inhale, the left elbow reaches up. Exhale, the left hand comes down to frame that front foot. As we frame that front foot, we'll inhale, look forward, drag those arms either to the sides or directly up towards the sky for that low lunge. When we get to that low lunge, we'll exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down, keep that knee closed and in line to the, to the femur, to the hip, and then inhale, the arms reach up. As the arms reach up, bend your right elbow, pat your back, grab the tip of that right elbow with your left hand, Drawing that breath in, we'll exhale, extend the elbow heads over towards this left side, looking down towards our left armpit. If it's better for you to look up, look up. Inhale, we'll come back to center. The arms reach back up. Exhale, the hands will come down. They'll frame that right foot. Curl your right toes, lift that right knee, plant the palms down, slider step your left foot to the back of the room as you come back into downward facing dog. Breath in through the nose, breath out of the nose. On our next inhale, lift the heels up high, bend those knees generously, press your heart towards your thighs once more, looking at toes or kneecaps. Inhale, begin to straighten those legs, return back into downward facing dog. On your next breath in, you'll lift the heels, roll your vertebrae forward into that plank pose. Shoulders are a hair over the wrist, a breath in, drop the knees down to the earth, squeeze the elbows in, they point to the back of the house, scoop your belly up and in, and then exhale, lower so that everything lands on the ground at the same time. Hands slide out beyond the mat, either fingertips pressing into the earth or your palms. Inhale, rise up. As you rise up, if your back is tight, take those legs out wider. If your back is fine, keep those thighs nice and tight. On an inhale, you lift up through the sternum, you drop the shoulders back. On that exhale, we release the heart back down. Inhale, we'll rise up. You're going to dip your right shoulder down to the center of the mat, looking to that left side of the room. Inhale, work your way back to center when you're ready. Exhale, dip that left shoulder down to the center of the mat, looking over towards your right side. Inhale, we'll return to center. 
and exhale, we'll release the chest down. As we release the chest down, let your thighs come close to one another. Your toes are touching, your heels are clicking, your arms are to your sides. As the arms come to the sides, either palms up or palms pressing or touching the thighs. On an inhale, lift the chest up, keep your feet down on the ground, lift your hands up off the earth. Again, thumbs can either point down or the palms can point up. Now go ahead and gently lift the toes off the ground, kneecaps as well and as much of your thigh as possible. One breath in here in this heart opener, back bend as well. And then exhale, release and lower down. Slide your hands back into cactus arm position, bend those knees, windshield wiper your legs from right side of the room to left side of the room. On your breath in time, legs go long, hands come down to your breastbone. Inhale, plank on your knees. Those elbows are squeezing in towards your right, into your ribs. Tuck those toes under, lift your kneecaps up. Exhale, downward facing dog. In that downward facing dog, march or paddle the feet out. Find that fluidity for your back, find that movement for your legs, and then find stillness. Inhale, we'll lift the heels up nice and high. Bend those knees generously as the heart comes towards the thighs and the hips reach up towards the sky. Inhale, look towards the top of the mat. Exhale, you'll walk your feet towards the top or your hands to your feet. Forward fold, whichever position you went with. Inhale, lift it up halfway, flat back, ribs knit in. And then exhale, releasing the chest back down, fingers and head down towards the ground. Separating your feet once more, hip width distance apart or greater. Either pull out your peace fingers, grabbing those big toes, or if you prefer gorilla pose, lift the sole of one foot, slide that same palm underneath the foot, bend the knee, lift the sole of the opposite foot, take that opposite hand or that right hand to the right foot, and then take that gorilla pose. The elbows pull out to the left and to the right. The head is droopy. The knees are bent, the hips can be low, or you can begin to straighten those hips up, your choice. Wiggle the toes if you're in that gorilla pose, and if you're in the big toe bind, maybe you're just enjoying the sensation of length. One more inhale here, and that exhale here. Regardless of what you did, begin to release. Hands come back down towards the mat. Our feet walk back towards one another, and then inhale. We'll reverse and rise all the way up. With gratitude, with love, extend the arms up. Exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Lift up through the sternum. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lowering the fingertips and the palms down to the mat. Step back with that left foot. As you drop that left foot back, release the left knee down. Top of the left foot on the ground. Inhale, that right arm reaches up towards the sky. Shoulders pull back. And then exhale, pull the elbow towards the back. Opening up through the heart. Inhale, reach that right arm back up and exhale, the right hand comes down to the ground. As that right hand comes down to the ground, inhale for that low lunge. Take your time as you rise all the way up. Hug that right femur into your socket. Pull that left hip forward. Squeeze the glute on that left side. Exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Inhale, lift the arms up. Press with the top of your foot. Bend that left elbow, pat your back with that left hand, grab the tip of that left elbow with your right hand, and then adjust where you're at. Draw a full breath in. Don't let the thigh open up towards this right side. Keep it in line. And then exhale, send this right elbow towards that right side. Maybe you're looking to that right side. Again, if it feels better for you to look up, look up or neutrally, your choice. Big belly breath in, big belly breath out. Then inhale, returning to center, the arms reach up. Squeeze the thighs towards one another like they're magnets. And exhale, hands will come down to frame that right foot. Tucking toes, lifting the knee, plant the palms down, step or slide your right foot to the back for downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift the heels up nice and high, bend those knees, connect the chest or the belly towards the thighs. As you draw your next breath in, looking forward, Roll or let your body come into plank pose from here. Shoulders again, a hair over the wrist, on or off those knees, elbows squeeze in towards our side body and we'll exhale, let everything come down even. Let the hands stay close to your breastbone, spread the fingers wide. Again, adjust the stance with your legs for your back and inhale, rise up for that baby cobra. From that baby cobra, the hands are down on the mat to then the hands floating off the ground. Elbows hugging back and tight. One more inhale, keep your toes anchored, and then exhale, release them down. Bend the knees, windshield wiper, right side to left side. 
and then extend the legs nice and long. Hands slide down to your sides. Again, decide if thumbs are pointing towards the ground or palms are pointing up. We'll inhale, rise up for a locust pose. This time, lift the legs. The same time you lift the head, extend the arms back. Maybe you want to interlace those hands this time. And if you can, that's fine. And if not, no big deal. Big belly breath in. Don't constrict the breath. And then exhale, release it all back down. Bring those arms to cactus position. Bend those knees, windshield wiper your legs from side to side. As you draw your next breath in, those legs extend nice and long. The hands slide down to your breastbone. You'll rise up into tabletop position or plank pose. And then exhale into that downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, draw full belly breath in. Let that breath go. Another big giant breath in. And you'll let that breath go. As you take your next inhale, extend and lift that right leg up towards the sky, bending the knee, stack hip over hip. As you stack hip over hip, try to angle this right armpit towards this left knee. If you'd like those giant circles, take those circles. And if not, stay stacked. It's your choice. Maybe try to look underneath your left armpit to see that right foot. And then only when you're ready, extending the legs, squaring that hip, adjusting the stance, you'll exhale, pull that knee into the chest, step that right foot in between the thumbs, use that right hand to assist the right foot forward instead of jerking the leg around, use the strength. There you go. From here, draw breath in, looking forward, letting that breath go, peace fingers into the earth until your body is ready to rise up for that high crescent lunge. As you come into high crescent lunge, draw a full breath in. Let that breath go and then exhale, pull the heads of the elbows down. Inhale, those arms reach up. Bend that right elbow, pat the back, grab the tip of it, draw that breath in. Let that breath go. Now arch the spine, looking up towards the ceiling. Keep the hips at that 90 degree angle or this right knee. One more inhale here. And exhale here, then inhale, arms extend back up, spin into your warrior two. Adjust that right heel so it's in line with the arch of your left foot, arms are down. You should not have this left arm beyond the back, it should be in line with the body. Back hand down, flip that front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. If you'd like, bend this right elbow once more, pat the back, this time lift and extend that left arm up, grab the tip of the elbow, sink into the pose here. Draw a breath in, opening up the heart and the shoulders. Let that breath go. Then inhale, arms go up. Exhale, back into your warrior two. From that warrior two, straighten your front leg. Reach your fingertips towards the front of the room. Pause there. Now go ahead and open up this left shoulder. Try not to hyperextend that right knee so there's still a soft bend. Twirl and twist into extended triangle. Extending that left arm up, rotating this left hip open, staying strong through your belly. One more inhale here and that exhale here. Now staying right here, bend your left elbow, bring that left hand to the small of the back, wrapping it either around towards the right hip or just leaving it at the small of the back. Inhale, taking that front knee and bending it, extending and reaching your right thumb back. And now exhale, extended side angle. For that extended side angle, you're still bound if possible. And then drop the fingertips towards the earth. Allow this left shoulder to open up. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, we release and we'll reverse that warrior. Exhale, we'll cartwheel the hands, framing our right foot, spinning so that we're on the ball of that left foot. Inhale, extend and lift that right arm up towards the sky. Drop the hips low. Exhale, hand down to the earth, step back into your downward facing dog. From that downward facing dog, inhale, roll into your plank pose, on or off your knees, always your choice, squeeze the belly. Exhale, brush the ribs, lower the heart down. Inhale, rise up for cobra. As you rise up for that cobra, the knees are still down on the mat, the tops of the feet press into the earth, the palms anchor you as well. It might be a little bit lower, your hips might be anchored and that's okay. When you're ready, curl those toes, lift through your core, bring it up, tilt the hips up, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in here. Let that breath go. One more inhale here, letting that breath go. 
As you draw your next breath in, extend and float that left leg up towards the sky, bending the knee and stacking that hip. Again, angling your armpit on this right side to the right, excuse me, left side to the right knee. And then maybe looking underneath that right armpit, looking for your foot. Few circles in each direction if you prefer, or keep the hips stacked. And then on inhale, we'll extend the legs, square the hip. As we exhale, pull that left knee into the body. If your toes release down in the middle of the mat, grab the back of the calf with that left hand, slide that left foot forward, and then you're in position. Peace fingers anchor into the ground, adjusting the legs so that you're on railroad tracks. And we'll inhale, rise up for that high crescent lunge. Arms reach up actively, shoulders drift down. Exhale, pull your elbow heads down. Inhale, bring those arms back up. Bend that left elbow, pat your back, grab the tip of that left elbow. As you grab the tip of that left elbow with your right hand, you'll open the heart up. You're feeling the shoulder blade drop down. One breath in, one breath out. Then inhale, arms reaching up, big giant smiles on those faces. Exhale, take your warrior two. As you adjust your stance and you find your strength, this is a very strong pose. Maybe you're warm now, you're sweating. So allow yourself to take that cleansing breath in if necessary. Let that breath go. Drop that back hand down, flip that front palm. Inhale, reverse the warrior. As we reverse the warrior once more, we'll bend the elbow. Bend and reach that right arm up. Grab the tip of the elbow. Let your hand slide down. Sit into the pose. Don't be afraid to be strong. That's what you are. Remind yourself of your words. I am, and you fill that blank in. On an inhale, those arms reach up. Exhale, back into warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Don't hyperextend the knee. Reaching forward, pause. As you reach forward, allow the sternum to open up. Maybe you're looking at your right hand now, but now look back. Tick tock to the six and to the 12 or in that vicinity. Draw a breath in. Let that breath go. Go ahead and bend the right elbow. Bring the back of the hand to the small of the back. So you've got external rotation with a small bind behind you. The hand can wrap around towards the hip so the fingertips can be towards this left hip. When it feels right for you, draw that breath in. Let that breath go. Rotate this right hip open. Keeping your hand where it's at. Inhale, reverse just the warrior, extending that back, right left hand back. And then exhale, extended side angle. As you come into extended side angle, you might be able to press a little more firm through the blade of your right foot, dropping the fingertips if you can down to the ground. So also opening up this left thigh. This is very strong. Squeeze those thighs, breath in, breath out. And then inhale, release and reverse. Exhale, cartwheel those hands to frame your front foot. Spin so that you're pivoting and you're on the ball of that right foot. Take your time as you inhale, extend and reach up towards the sky with that left arm. Drop the hips low. Don't be scared. You got this. Exhale, hand goes down to the earth. Slide and step that left foot back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, roll your vertebrae forward, plank pose, honor off those knees. Exhale, lower the chest all the way down. Inhale, either take that baby cobra, full cobra pose, or even upward facing dog where just the palms and the tops of the feet are into the earth. Shoulders pull back and down. There's a soft bend of the elbows. When you're ready, tilt those hips up, tuck those toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now get to take a mini break as we release the knees down to the ground, toes together, knees wide for a wide-legged child's pose. Sink your heart, sink your hips in between the legs and down to the earth. Rest that forehead down on the mat. Maybe your arms, so it's the heart, the shoulders are opened up. You can stack them instead, or if you prefer, take those elbows, anchor them into the mat, bending them, and then the hands can come to the small of the back, excuse me, to the back. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in and that breath out. Slowing down that heart rate if it's elevated. Enjoying the warmth, the sensations that are occurring in your body. Acknowledging thoughts with love, with gratitude and with peace in your heart. Keep what you need. Let go of what you no longer need, what is not necessary for you. One more inhale here. Letting that breath go. 
As we draw our next breath in, press the palms into the mat, lift up into your tabletop. From that tabletop, allow yourself to maybe wiggle the hips or even take a round or two of cat cows, whatever feels appropriate. But when you're ready, curl those toes under, lift the hips up for downward facing dog. In that downward facing dog, inhale, heels up high. Bend the knees, connect the heart towards the thighs, looking at your toes, then inhale, looking forward. Walk or step your feet as you exhale at the top of the mat for a forward fold. Inhale, lift it up halfway, pulling those ribs together, pulling the shoulders back. Exhale, release and lowering it down. Inhale, reverse and rise. Slide those arms out, big breath in. Exhale, elbow heads pull down. Inhale, those arms reach up. Exhale, palms together and hands that prayer at your heart space. Standing up nice and tall, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Draw that breath in. Give grace, give gratitude for who you are and where you're at. Let that breath go and release your palms to your sides for that Tadasana or mountain pose. On an inhale, scoop the arms up, pull that right knee in towards your chest. Exhale, the hands interlace and wrap around that hamstring. Drawing a breath in, letting that breath go. Stay strong through this left hip. You have to squeeze that left glute. Now you can wrap your hands around the shin bone if you prefer. As you wrap your hands around that shin bone, lift up tall through the shoulders, reaching up through the crown of the head. One more inhale here. And that exhale here. Now, if you'd like, bring those hands once more underneath the hamstring, holding onto the hamstring with just your left hand. Inhale, that right arm goes up. Exhale, that right hand comes forward. You send it to the ground and you extend it to the back of the house. Extend and kick or straighten your right leg forward. If you've got the ability to use a wall, use the wall. If you have the need to bend the knee, bend the knee. So it might look like this. Breath in, breath out. The shoulders should be nice and open by now. One more inhale and exhale. Then inhale, bringing the arms up towards the sky. Take warrior three position as you bow forward and extend those arms to the front of the room. Find your stability, find your strength. If your fingertips drop down to the mat, no big deal, you're in standing split. If your fingertips are like mine on a wall, enjoy it, you're anchoring your frame. One more breath in and that breath out. If you happen to be in standing split, stay there. If not, exhale, release the fingertips down to the ground as you bow your chest down and continue to lift that right leg up. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, you rise up halfway. Stepping back into that runner's lunge to inhale, high crescent lunge. From that high crescent lunge, adjust the stance. Exhale, elbow heads pull down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, spin into your warrior two. Press through the blade of your foot. Keep that soft bend on this right left leg. Back hand down, flip that front palm. Inhale, reverse the warrior. As you reverse the warrior, bending the elbow, patting your back. Inhale, lift and extend right hand up. Grab the tip of the elbow. Pull the shoulder back and down. Keep the ribs tight. Big belly breath in here. Big belly breath out. Then inhale, arms reach up. We'll straighten the front leg. Exhale, prepping for triangle pose. Fingertips reach forward. Tick tocking them to the six and to the 12th. Now bending this right elbow, hand behind your back. As the hand comes behind your back, breath in, breath out. Now inhale, bend your front knee, trace or reach your left arm back. Exhale, extended side angle. As we take that extended side angle, begin to open up the chest. So you're allowing the gaze to go up towards the ceiling or maybe as you open up the chest, that gaze goes down to your left toes. Drop the left fingertips down to the mat. Drop the shoulder somewhere near this left thigh. And then if you can bind, slide your hand underneath, looking or reaching for the opposite hand. If you can grab it, grab it. If you can't, use your shirt or just place one hand on your glute. Lift the chest up, pull the shoulder open, a breath in and that breath out. One more, you got this. Let it go. When you're ready, releasing, fingertips can come back down to the ground. You'll inhale, reverse that warrior. Legs stay the same, just the top half of our body is traveling. Exhale, cartwheel your hands, spin so that you're on the ball of that right foot. Draw breath in, let that breath go. 
walk forward as you step that right foot to meet that left foot. You'll exhale for a forward fold. Inhale, you'll lift it up halfway. Exhale, you'll melt it back down. Big toes kiss, separate the heels about an inch width apart. Bending your knees, sit the bum down. Connect the belly towards the thighs. Send the weight towards the heels and then you got it, chair pose. <laughs> As we come into that chair pose, curl the belly in like an accordion. Allow the chest to lift up. So if your chest is really low, lift your chest up. It's okay if your knees get a little bit longer or taller. No big deal. Breath in, breath out. Palm together, hands at prayer and at our heart space. We'll sink it down a little bit low. Beautiful job, everyone. Smile, be you. Let yourself shake. It's okay. One more inhale and then we'll exhale forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release and melt down. And inhale, we'll reverse and rise all the way up. Sweeping those arms to the sides, to the sky, that breath in, palms kiss. Interlacing all our fingers, extending the index finger up. Shoulders pull down. Those odd biceps are by our ears. If you want to take a heart opener, inhale, arch. If not, stay neutral if your back is tight. Inhale, you come back to a neutral spine. And then exhale, release, palms to our side for Tadasana or that mountain pose. Draw that breath in. Feel the earth beneath you. Close your eyes here. Let that breath go. As you draw your next breath in, inhale, those arms reach up. And you'll exhale, pull that left knee in. Find your strength and your stability. As you find that strength and stability in the body, exhale, the hands come down and around, interlacing and wrapping around that hamstring. Adjust your foot. Maybe you're flexing the foot like your Captain Morgan and stepping on that big old barrel. Breath in, breath out. Now, if you'd like to take the hands, interlace them around the shin bone, that's perfectly fine too. If that feels more comfortable, you'll have the option to switch once more. When you're ready to extend and open, take that right hand, hold on to that hamstring underneath. Inhale, extend and reach up towards the sky with that left arm. Exhale, left hand goes forward, left hand goes down. Spin and turn your heart towards that left side as that left arm extends to the back of the house. Now, if you'd like, stay right here or extend and straighten your left leg forward. If the left foot needs to stay bent, that leg, that's fine. No big deal. One more inhale here. And that exhale here, strong through that right glute. You've got this. Inhale, come back to center, release the leg. Both arms reach up. Warrior three, you've got this. Extend that back leg to the back of the house. Fold or bend at your heart. Strength through this right leg. My leg is shaking, quivery. It's okay. Again, if you have the wall, use the wall. If you need to release your hands to the ground, release those hands down to the ground. One more breath in. And then we're all going into that standing split. So lowering the fingertips down to the ground, matching the hip adjustment, right with left. Breath in breath out, then inhale, rising up halfway, step back into that runner's lunge. Give this left leg and right leg a little bit of love, maybe wiggle, and only when you're ready to rise up for high crescent lunge, you lift it up. From that high crescent lunge, exhale, the elbows pull down to the sides, our ribs knit, inhale, lift up, exhale, spin into your warrior two. From that warrior to just adjust your stance. Let yourself be strong. Let yourself be comfortable. As strong as you are, you're looking super relaxed. Back hand down. Flip that front palm. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Bind when you're ready. Bending the elbow, extending that left arm up, grabbing the tip of that elbow. A full belly breath in here. Ribs are tight. Squeezing that left glute. Let that breath go. And then inhale. Arms reach up. Straighten that front leg. Exhale, prep for triangle pose. Fingertips reach forward, right fingertips forward, spin and tick tock for extended triangle. Bending this left elbow, back of the hand comes to the small of the back or wraps around towards your right hip. You can see my little fingers wiggling here. And if you can't, just visualize them. Full belly breath in here, full belly breath out. Keeping that left arm where it's at. Gazing anywhere it feels right for you. Bending your right knee. Inhale, trace or reach the right thumb back. And then exhale, extended side angle. As you take that extended side angle, you're dropping the weight down. So notice that you might need to step that left foot back. Releasing the right fingertips down to the ground. Drop the shoulder down. 
reach and uh, reach underneath the leg and maybe clasp. Now sending this right thigh towards the right side, opening the left hip up. Maybe your left shoulder can open up. Mine's a little closed and that's just um, the imbalances that I have in my body and that might be similar to yours. You may be more open and that's okay. That's great. Take one more breath in, one more breath out and then we'll release the bind and we'll inhale, rise back up, cartwheeling into that reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands, bring that front foot. You're on the ball of that left foot. Inhale, extend and reach up towards the sky with your right arm. Right hand down on the exhale. Last time we do this, slide back. Skip this if you want to. If you prefer to go into child's pose from here, drop those knees down. Let the hips seat back. Otherwise, inhale, plank pose. Last one, on or off your knees, elbows in, lowering the chest down. Inhale, last cobra or upward facing dog or take that round of cat cows or two or three. And then when you're ready, once you tilt the hips up and you return to downward facing dog, we'll all over those knees to the earth, bringing the toes together for child's pose. Settle the hips back, wiggle the body if you need to. Take that big breath in with gratitude. Let it go, send that love out. Yes, you are worthy, strong, brave, beautiful, kind, peaceful. Perhaps you've got a few words of your own. And if you do, don't hesitate to share them with me after. Send me that little message and let me know what your word was, what your I am is to you today in this moment. Take one more final breath in. And let that breath go. Only when you're ready, we'll inhale, begin to rise back up into that tabletop position. You have two choices here. We are going into pigeon pose. I'm offering it on our back, but if you prefer from downward facing dog, then tilt those hips up towards the sky and take that downward dog. Otherwise, drop the hips to one side and let your bum come down to the mat. And as your bum comes down to the mat, you'll inhale, open the chest, lower the back down to the mat as you exhale, tuck those knees in towards your body. Hands can rest on the kneecaps. If you're in downward facing dog, you're gonna lift that right leg up towards the sky. You'll exhale, take that right knee behind the right wrist and then slide your foot over to the left wrist. If you're on your back like I am, lower the sole of your left foot down, extend that right leg up towards the ceiling. Once that right leg is up towards the ceiling, bend the knee, cross that ankle over, rest the ankle on that left quad. Butterfly flap your right thigh. And then as you exhale, let the thigh get heavy. If you went ahead and came into pigeon pose from downward facing dog, go into that sleeping pigeon. If you're where I am, go ahead and lift the sole of that left foot off the ground, adjusting the body, interlacing the hands around the hamstring, drawing the left knee in towards your heart. Try to allow yourself comfort here. We're deep into the hips, but hopefully they feel tons better. Unclenching the jaw, soft features of the face. Body is supported by the earth. So if your head is lifted, I encourage you to slide a blanket, a pillow, or even a block, a book, whatever it may be underneath the head so that you actually can anchor your head. You'll notice with time, if that's the case, that you can begin to create that support into something thinner and thinner until finally your head is on the mat. Enjoy the growth that's occurring in this moment with where you're at at this time. Just a few more inhales and exhales while we're here in this figure four, your pigeon. Be sure that you've got that right foot flex. Even if you're on the earth with your belly on the shin bone, you should flex that right foot. Not necessarily that the foot needs to be parallel to the top edge of your mat, but keeping the foot flex protects the tendons and the joints of the knee. When you're ready to release, 
Those who are on their backs will go ahead and lower the sole of the left foot down to the ground and extend that right leg up towards the sky. Curl the knee in towards the chest and take a half happy baby as you grab the blade of that little pinky toe and send the right knee towards that right armpit. Then you can extend your left leg long. If you were in sleeping pigeon with your belly in the earth, on that inhale, curl the back toes, slide that left leg forward, pull that right knee into your belly, press up, and then come back into three-legged dog and trace a couple of giant circles with your hip or your knee in each direction and then return back into that downward facing dog position, marching back and forth. If you're in that half happy baby, inhale, release, extend the leg up, drop that heel down, inhale, take that big good morning stretch, arching the spine as you exhale that breath, you'll lower the back down, bend both the right and the left knee, slide the hands down to your sides. From downward facing dog position, you got it, switch it out to that left side, work your way into figure four on this opposite side, whether you're on your back or you're here, in downward facing dog. As we all bind, we'll all find a little bit of release as we flex the left toes and lower the tailbone down. Allow the breath to take over. Let those emotions go. Set yourself free from any chains. I don't like to say shackles, but <laughs> whatever may be holding you down from your higher purpose. Set yourself free. Be you. Be beautiful. Be kind. If you're in downward facing dog, you'll go ahead and allow yourself to release when you're ready. If you're on your back, let go of the bind, lowering the sole of that right foot down, taking that half happy baby, grabbing the blade of the little toe on the left foot, drawing the left knee in towards the body, extending the right leg long. So this is one variation. Obviously, the right knee can stay bent as well. You decide where the inner thigh length is at where the hip flexion release has occurred. One last breath in. And that breath out. If you're in downward facing dog, when you're ready, drop down to those knees, drop the hips to one side and let yourself come onto your back. If you're in that half happy baby, slowly release, extending that leg up, lowering that left heel down, we'll inhale, take a big good morning stretch. If you're now on your back, take that big good morning stretch and we'll exhale, slide our hands to our sides, bending our knees, releasing the tailbone. Bring both the right and the left knee into your chest and we'll all rock side to side. We're gonna take three flowing or continuous movements of bridge pose today. So when you're you're ready to release the soles of the feet down. Let them come down to the mat. Let your hands rest to your sides. On an inhale, press the palms into the earth. Lift the hips up. Press through the soles of the feet. Lift the thighs up nice and high. Let that breath go here. One more inhale. And then we'll exhale. Tap the earth. Draw breath in. Let that breath go. Inhale. Press into the earth. Lift the hips up once more. Let that breath go. You're here for one more breath in. And then we're exhaling, releasing the back back down to the mat. You're here for a breath in and a breath out. Last time we rise up, so inhale, lift the hips up. This time you're welcome to take the tail, lift it up higher, interlace the hands, slide the shoulders underneath the body or just slide the shoulders underneath the body. One last big breath in here. Lift the hips up a little higher as you squeeze those glutes. And then releasing those arms, we'll exhale, lower the body down to the earth. As we lower the body down to the earth, separate your feet, windshield wiper, those legs from right side to left side.
Coming back to center. Walk your feet back towards one another. We'll go ahead and lift the hips up, sliding them towards that left side and let the knees come in towards our chest at an angle and exhale, supine twist. Take that right arm on top of that left thigh, extend the left arm out towards that left side. Take your gaze to that left whenever your neck feels good or your low back. If you have the ability to extend this left leg, you can extend this left leg now. It's similar to when we were standing, but definitely much more comfortable since our body is supported by the earth. Letting go on your breath and your time. Look up to the ceiling. Bring the soles of the feet back down to the mat as the back comes down to the earth again. Only when you decide it's time, lift the hips, sliding them over towards your left side, right side, my left side, your right side, tucking the knees into the chest. Exhale, the knees fall at that 90 degree angle. Only when your back, your neck feels right, take that left hand on the right side and then looking over towards that right side. If your shoulder blades are slightly lifted, it's okay. Just what happens is that it pulls the pecs and it doesn't allow for the spinal flexion. So you may want to release your arm to your side or bring your hand to your hip if that's more comfortable for you. Unless you're working on opening up the pecs and that's completely fine. One more inhale here. And that exhale here. Gaze to the ceiling, return those knees and your back down to the earth. As we return back into the earth, we can windshield wiper those legs or we can tuck the knees in towards the body. Always your choice. Decompress that low spine. And then as you exhale, tuck right knee and left knee into the body. Lift your back and your head off the earth, giving yourself a big giant hug. And on the inhale, we release. And on the exhale, we find our final resting place of Shavasana. If you'd like to take your blanket and cover your body up, please do so. If you prefer stillness and your arms out to the sides in this corpse pose, that's fine. You can also take legs up the wall or support the knees with your pillows. Whatever you decide on, feel comfort. Draw a breath in. And then we'll exhale, sigh that breath out, let it go. Be at peace, be one with mind, body, and spirit. Enjoy these next moments as the gift you gave yourself this morning when you rolled this mat out. Bringing awareness to your space, to your body, to the physical presence in which you rest. Begin by taking that full breath in through your nose. Open now, sigh, let it go. 
acknowledge if you require more time here resting in Shavasana, or if you're ready to invite that gentle movement back into the body as you begin to extend and wiggle the fingers, the toes, your wrists and ankles, taking a breath into the nose. And as you exhale, you can look over towards that right side. And as you inhale, you can bring that gaze neutrally once more. And you can exhale, look over towards that left side. And as you inhale, returning back to center, taking a big good morning stretch if it feels appropriate for you. And exhale, curling those knees in towards your heart space for one more big embrace. Letting go, smiling, letting yourself roll to one side and then rising up into a comfortable seat. As you allow the body to come into a comfortable seat, perhaps you'd like to bring your hands into prayer and at heart space, or maybe you want to leave your palms down to absorb this energy, to ground down, or maybe palms up to send and share your love, your energy, your joy. Whatever you decide on, draw a breath in with me. Closing our eyes, we'll sigh that breath out. The divine in me salutes, honors, recognizes, and bows to the divine love and light in each of you. Thank you for being a part of my day, a part of each other's day. May you be at peace. May you have ease. May you have comfort. From my heart to yours, namaste.